me, how did you get involved with this project? Um, well, we worked together for years, six, nine, ten six years. or nine or ten years. Yeah, yeah and uh, I, I had this idea for this character. We brought in, we wanted to, uh, uh, Puny, the, the company that, that Chatty owns, was we wanted to do a short film and work with improv actors. So here's this character, let's give this character a shot. Um, and then the voice came out of Eric's mouth and it was exactly what was in my head. So since then, whatever we had to do to make this a reality. Yeah, it was better than what was in my head, but it really made me think that this show was possible. We did yeah. it as an adult short for film festivals initially with a lot of blood and guts and things like that. And then, um, and then gradually made it more into a kid's show. And then uh, why Amazon is a fit? Because they wanted to do <laughs> they said, yes. Yes. It took it six That's years to get we, yeah. we, we pitched around. We had, we had optioned it with some other companies, and other companies okay. wanted it. But Amazon had just um, uh, did a lot with uh, Transparent, and okay. it was uh, kind of the go-to place for, like, you know, creative control mm -hmm. and really just, like, you know, really treating artists well and treating productions well. So we got to, like, traditionally animate the show, and it was just, they just really wanted to be as good as possible. So they were, like, the best possible company to do the show, I think. Great. And then how did you two get involved with the show? And then tell me about your character, because that's kind of how you're involved. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, um, I play Philip. Um, the, the safety, are we calling him the safety egg still, or is it just the egg? Yeah, it was um, for a long time. It was known as simply Philip the Safety Egg. But um, he's a little high-strung, nervous uh, friend of Dee Dee Danger, um, who enjoys danger, and Philip always uh, tries to keep her safe. And I got involved with the show, much like Mike said. I was in an improv group um, in Minneapolis, and they they brought us in, kind of laid out a bunch of characters. We all gravitated towards Philip, and then we got in the booth and just started like playing around with it. And it seemed, you know, the anxiety and the high-strung nature definitely fit. <laughs> so I was I was. Feeling Feeling good about that, and then we were off. So was there were a lot of improving uh, while you were doing the voice recording. Um, as far as this series, yeah, it was it was definitely encouraged. I mean, you know, there were solid scripts and 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 very funny scripts, um, but they always encouraged us to kind of you know go off script and and you know try it this way, try saying it that way, or just do a run of jokes or whatever. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, a lot of room for improv and creativity. Hi. Um, I, yeah, I play Dee Dee Danger, who's sort of a daredevil girl. She's out for adventure, and uh, her best friend, Philip, keeps her safe. So, uh, so yeah, so I got involved kind of later in the project when everything was all put together, and they had already done so much great work that I was like, of course I want to be a part of this. I love this so much, and I love so many of the messages, and I like that this girl is the star of the show, and she's like the the she's the drive behind all the action you know I think that's a cool thing for a girl character to do for on a kids show so um, so yeah I was all in uh, what was one of your favorite morning moments in the recording process or the seeing the animations uh, for me it was uh, when we first had the team together I was leading a team of board storyboard artists um, and they're all on the floor, you know, worried. I'm, I'm worried about how the show's gonna go. Are they gonna get it? They're gonna be into it. And just hearing people laughing at their desk, and like, are, and but no one got up from this. Like, are they talking? They're just laughing at what they're drawing and what these characters are doing together. So they just latched, latched onto it so quickly and had fun with those characters. And so I just felt like this is gonna work. This is gonna happen because they're invested in it and they're having fun. So. Yeah, it's such a long process animation. Like we've been working on this show for three years, and it's all really you. You know, you write it, and then you move on to doing the voices, and then move on to the storyboards. So each process is kind of this heavy anxiety thing, and then when it all comes together, you see a storyboard, and then it gets really exciting. So there's all these like kind yeah. of touchstone moments where like, oh, this is cool, and then you hope that the next step will make it even cooler and make it even better than it was. And I think that we've done that pretty consistently throughout the show. Like the voices are always better than the scripts and the radio play gets put together and the sound is great. So we've had like a ton of those just great moments in every bar. Yeah. Oh, great. And then uh, real quick, what, are, what, were, what was a favorite moment for you? Um, we were talking about this earlier. There was a moment where I made Chetty kind of pass out um, um, from laughing in the booth. That was a fun one. There's another episode too. I, it just it was fun to record. There's a episode called I think it's called Nightmare, right? Where Philip like gets has to go into a dream and like slowly come out of it. And that one was just like fun. It was like this long monologue just to kind of like ramp up. So that was just a blast to do. Yeah. Yeah, and I, uh, I like an episode where we did a bunch of music and we did a lot of like singing and stuff. It was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Looking forward to watching it. Thank